Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday morning, and uh, I'd like to share some uh, scriptures that I feel the Lord has put in my heart. The reading is from James chapter 5, <clears throat> verses 7 to 9. Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Wait impatiently for it until it receives the early and late rain. You also be patient. Establish your heart, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. So guys, <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff going on around the world, especially in Israel and Jerusalem right now. Um, I feel that we are living in the last days. So, we have to be patient because the Lord has to sort some stuff out. And uh, all these things have to take place in the Bible, especially in Revelations and the end of Matthew. And uh, all through the Old Testament, the end of the scriptures. I'd like to share another verse. It's in uh, the same chapter, in James chapter 5, verses 19 to 20. Brethren, if any among you wander from the truth, and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from his errors of his ways will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. So, if you know someone that is wandering off and is not following the Lord, and you know that he knows the Lord, go to him and uh, bring him back. He will come back because he belongs to the Lord. But you will be able to cover a multitude of sins that he's living in. And then first, the epistle of John, uh, chapter 2, verses 17. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. So guys, with all the chaos and stuff that's going on around the world, no matter what, a God, God still is in control and He will abide in you forever. So let us stay in the Lord and stay focused. I know there's a lot of distractions in the world right now. So guys, if y'all can, I'd like to or close with a prayer. Uh, for those that are going through some hard times, especially in the Israel and Jerusalem there. Our Lord, our Heavenly Father, and I thank you and praise you for this day. And Lord, I pray that you be with all our families and loved ones here where we live at. And I pray for those in Israel and Jerusalem there, Lord, those that are su suffering right now. There's been people that have been uh, kidnapped and being held hostage, I just pray for those, Lord. Those that have suffered loss, I pray for those, Lord, that you'll bring comfort to their souls. And Lord, there's just so much chaos right now. Lord, I pray that you'll lower your ear to hear us, dear Lord, to hear our prayers. And Father, we lift everybody up. Father, we thank you for your Son, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, and for your precious word, dear Lord. For we ask all these things in Christ's name, our Lord. Amen.